so this topic in today's session is about playing with numbers now numbers are the heart for mathematics when we say about numbers it is the basic pumping of a human body which is done possible only through the beating of a heart so as heart is to the human body the numbers are to the mathematics so when we come to mathematics we identify many of the con contents or the topics which we discuss is done through numbers we cannot imagine mathematics without numbers so when we have the playing of numbers with such an important role in mathematics let's also discuss further on how we can play with numbers mathematically so can we imagine the score in cricket without when we calculate the runs we can we can do that without numbers no we cannot so when we play the sports or when we play cricket or any other concepts where we just go in and play go into the hotel to pay the bill we we play around with numbers so application of numbers in real life has its wide applications in almost every second of life in daily life so when it comes to that concept so numbers because they are so important let's also identify what are the different ways through which numbers can be played now in this topic to be more clear with my concept in playing with numbers is about how i can divide a number without actually dividing it how i can identify a number to be a prime number without finding its factors so when i have a number for example i just want to know if this number is divisible by 2 or not then immediately i go to the last digit if this is an even number then the whole number is divisible by 2 so there are some shortcuts through which i identify that however big the number is we identify the divisibility of that number with the particular another number so in this fashion we will try to identify the divisibility of a number which is taken as an example through which we just identify through what number that particular number is divisible so we are going to come to that in a step by step process in the next session of class sessions now coming to this the basic concept through which we start playing with numbers is divisibility rule because when we identify that a number is divisible with another number through some process we should, we need to first understand the basic divisibility rule through which the whole of the contents what we are going to discuss in the next coming sessions depend on divisibility rule the rule which is very important for this topic is divisibility rule so divisibility rule says that when a number a if a number a completely divides a number b if a completely divides a number b then the divisibility rule says that b is divisible by a so this is the divisibility rule in mathematics if a number a completely divides a number b then we say that b is divisible by a this is the notation for divisibility rule so for example if i have if 2 is divisible for 4 if 2 is divisible if a if 2 completely divides b say for example if i write if 2 completely divides 4 that implies 4 is divisible by 2 which is the divisibility rule and we know that the answer for this would be 4 divisible by 2 can also be written as this which on equation gives me always an integer when you when you perfectly divide a number with another number then when it completely divides we always get an integer this is also part of the divisibility rule so this is how i understand the divisibility rule of numbers through which i'm going to next play with the numbers so let's see how we can play with the numbers mathematically and enjoy the passion of playing with numbers so let's get into the topic of place value of a digit so what is the place value of a digit say i for example i write 
a digit which is 54139. Now this is a number which is 54139 when I read it verbally. So in this case, what would be the place value of each of the digit 5, 4, 1, 3 and 9. So let's see what is the place value of each of the digits of this example problem. Now before this, I understand that when I have 5, 4, 1, 3, 9, I can write this as 50,000 plus 4,000 plus 100 plus 30 plus 9 which on adding gives me 5 4 1 3 9 which is nothing but the original number taken into consideration so I understand that every number can be written as 5 followed with other zeros here plus 4 followed with the zeros after 4 the number of digits here gets reduced to zeros and then 1 followed with 2 zeros and plus 3 followed with only 1 0 and plus 9 because there is no digit after 9 has only 9 left. So every time I write, I can write in this form where indirectly this can also be written as 54139. If I write it in the form, I can write it as 5 times of 10,000. 5 times of 10,000 because I can write 5 into 10,000 as 50,000. So let's separate the digit because the first digit is 5. I want to extract the first digit 5 from the first term. Then I'll extract the second digit 4 from the second term. Therefore, when I extract 4, I am left with 3 zeros, which is 1000. 4 times of 1000 is 4000. Then I extract 1 because my third digit is 1. I extract 1 out here so that the remaining would be 1 times of 100 plus my third, my fourth digit is 3. Therefore, I get this as 3 times of 10 plus 9 times of 1. So this is how I extract 5, 4, 1, 3 and 9. So each of the digits which are on the left hand side as 5, 4, 1, 3, 9 are extracted on the right hand side by splitting them separately in 5, 4, 1, 3, 9. This is called the units place. This is called tens place because multiplied with 10, 3 is called set to be in the tens place. Now because 1 is here, 1 is set to be in the hundreds place. And 4 is said to be in the thousands place and 5 is said to be in the ten thousands place. So this makes me understand that units place 9, tens place 3, hundreds place is 1, thousands place is 4, ten thousand place is 5. Where you see the left hand side of what exactly is the number. Now coming to this, my concept of place value of a digit, let's see what is the place value of 5. When I take the digit 5, place value of 5 is defined as this. The complete first term when expanded in this form is called the place value of 5 because 5 exists in this term. So my place value of 5 is 5 times of 10,000 which is nothing but 50,000. So place value of 5 times 10,000 is 50,000.